Today is November 2nd, 2022. It's a nice uh, kind of a warmer day. So we are going to take a road trip. We are going to Williamsburg, Virginia. Right now we are on I-95. After a little bit of backup on the Beltway, I-95 looks to be pretty good. So we'll be there in about two hours. Right now it's 10 o'clock. Williamsburg, Jamestown, Yorktown. The parking we came down here downtown so this is a street that they closed off to to have a lot of uh, eatery here basically become an eating street we can buy a sandwich or something then yep I remember a couple years ago we sat at that corner of the street there to uh, have lunch now it's not as crowded anymore i think we came around the same time but we might not sure if we came on the weekend or not so we'll probably just pop into this little black butt bakery and grab something to eat so we'll probably just sit outside We're gonna get a sandwich and a coffee probably what we're gonna do so this place don't have too much just some pastries and uh, that's about it sitting down here waiting for our sandwich Pretty nice sandwich. Uh, two of us gonna split that along with a coffee. Pretty nice, cute little bakery, Blackbird, and uh, nice service, friendly. Highly recommended. So here's Blackbird Bakery. Nice day for outdoor dining, walking in downtown Williamsburg. Yay! We are here. So looks like here they're putting together the ice skating rink and ready for the cold weather. And, uh, well, <clears throat> we didn't buy tickets so we're just going to walk outside and linger for probably an hour or two. So, uh, if you want to go inside any of the houses or the exhibits and stuff like that, then you will have to buy a either day ticket or a yearly pass. I recall that's being called a Patriot Pass. But uh, such a nice day, we're just going to walk outside and uh, hang out. Uh, some old trees, a garden out in the back. Uh, 
little garden here with a traditional little like a sunbox greenhouse kind of thing. Got a squirrel digging over there. <laughs> and these are probably beans. I'll remember where I planted. That's right, I'll remember this place. Yep. And I guess this garden is closed for the year. And uh, surprisingly, a lot of people around. And uh, you can see a tour going on on that side. And over to our left, I believe down at the end is the governor's mansion. We've been there before a number of years ago. And the carriage, looks like the horse and carriage are moving out on the way somewhere. So, perfect day for walking around for sure. And that's an interesting house. Look at the windows almost down at the ground level. So I guess the front there is probably all sunken. Oh. There you go, the governor's mansion in all its glory. And of course at the end of the street here is the church with the steeple. Which in the wagon ride sold out. Wow. This is where you buy tickets. Very nicely preserved houses here, buildings here for sure. And uh, there are a little bit of drink, a little drink store over there. And here's a little shop, not for produce, but more souvenir. But it's set up to be like an old style kind of a souvenir shop. But with new souvenirs. Morgan's Revenge. Shut the box game. Don't know what that is. That would be interesting. And then there's some old style colonial hats here. More like Amish hats, those. Children's Melody Hop. That's kind of what Jessica has. A little bit of drumming. Recorder and whistle, and uh, looks like harmonica here, and a fife, and a little bit of instruction or music. Music, I guess. There's some uh, seats for vegetable for sale here, but mostly just. Uh, I think uh, touristy stuff. Well, we are now heading to the restroom, but you can see some. Uh, I guess Continental Soldier dressed up here talking to the tourist. Yes. 
some old time music here. Good rooms for ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Pretty nice street. Certainly the street is wide. I don't know if it's by design or designed later. The shop. Topley Thompson and company I guess these hats are a thing in those days 7 days a week 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. <clears throat> so this one here is called the Weatherburns Tavern. So the original 18th century building expanded to its present size after 1751. House one of the best known tavern in Williamsburg. Bears the name of its builder and first owner Henry Wetterburn, who previously operated the Raleigh Tavern across the street. The distinguished clientele was attracted by the good food, drink, and festive social life. Thank you so much. And this here is King's Arm Tavern. Good eating. King's Arm Tavern, the good, the best foods, the finest food, beverage, etc., both foreign and domestic. Well, the house definitely looks nice. Pretty impressive looking home. This is another tavern, Hughes Tavern. 1745. I guess every house can be a tavern. You just open up your front door and you are now a tavern. And you can serve your liquor that maybe you brew yourself in your basement. Interesting looking chimney here. There's a chimney, double chimney for the two sides of the house. Well, this here is the Capitol building. Capitol of what? Capitol of Virginia. That's all you need, one little building. You don't need something big. Yep, this was actually the colonial Virginia's capital for 75 years. Pretty amazing. All you need is one little building. Looks like we are getting ready for a cold winter. Pretty interesting entryway here. Well, this is the Governor's Palace and Garden. Pretty big place. If you look over there, there's a house all the way in the back. The wall goes back quite a way. 
and then here's the main house looks like at least three floors don't know if it has a basement and then another house on the side here and then a garden in the back there and it goes all the way out there so Virginia's governor's pretty pretty wealthy or house pretty nice I guess one of the things to do here is to ride the horse buggy and uh, looks like fun things to do but it's all sold out this is so popular you can see that two horse walking all over the place can create a lot of waste I imagine they have to stop and let them eat sometime and horse being vegetarian needs a lot of time to eat here comes Cinderella well that's a well and you can see that that well actually comes with its own lock so I guess uh, maybe water is so precious that you gotta lock it up it's a very nice garden back there and magic takes uh, quite a bit of work to keep it up unless you got some free servants to work for you 8 p.m. candlelight concert and it's free Thursday November 3rd Saturday November 5th historic organ recital November 3rd that's tomorrow and worship time Wednesday 11 and 3 Friday at 5 30 Sunday it's got five different times or you can go to YouTube Looks like they are getting ready for their 3 o'clock service. Looks like it's going to be outdoor. Well, that's the end of our little trip. Uh, back to the parking lot. It's now about a little after 3 o'clock. And we'll probably go and have some Vietnamese food at Eden Center. And then that will be our day.